new state guidelines were designed to make sure yeshivas are giving their students a proper secular education, something that some students claim they never got. I knew very basic English and very little math. That was it. Basically, I could string together a broken sentence in English. Advocates say tens of thousands of students have been shortchanged, especially on math and science education. But yeshivas and other private and parochial schools sued to stop the guidelines. And today, a state Supreme Court judge sided with them, ruling the court finds that the new guidelines are rules that were not implemented in compliance with the State Administrative Procedure Act and are hereby nullified. The court said you can't just announce the guidelines, you have to go through a public comment period uh, and put them out publicly, uh, and then you can adopt them. A statement from the Parents for Educational and Religious Liberty in School says, we join the more than 1,000 private schools that challenge the new guidelines in applauding the state Supreme Court's decision, declaring the new state education department guidelines null and void. This stops in its tracks the SED's effort to radically transform the relationship between the state and its private schools. But Susan Learner of Common Cause, who supports the school reforms, says the yeshivas should voluntarily comply with the standards. What's unfortunate is while the appropriate procedures are being followed, the schools which have absolutely demonstrated their disdain for the law and appropriate educational standards will continue to deny their students an adequate education. Now, Lerner says the state should now go ahead with a new, more complete rulemaking procedure based on the court ruling, essentially try again. A spokeswoman for the Education Department said the department is reviewing the decision and will determine if the appropriate next steps are. Maurice.